a true summer like day out there today, which has been hard to come by this year. But with the historic floods, you need to be careful where you take a dip. The Vermont Health Department has a tracker for cyanobacteria, which could be harmful for pets and people. Each dot on the map shows the conditions at your favorite swimming area. Red is it's at a high alert area. NBC 5's Tyler Baronski spent the day at North Beach in Burlington and has more on how people cooled off today. Well, we haven't had many of these classic perfect beach days this summer season. And after the recent historic floods, people are happy to be able to enjoy being outdoors again. Hot, dry summer days have been few and far this season after dealing with a flood disaster. But on days like Friday, hundreds of people soaked up the sun at North Beach in Burlington. I can sit on my couch any single time. I can watch TV whenever. But North Beach, there are so many other people that you can meet. It's so much fun. People playing spike ball, soccer, or enjoying a good old-fashioned cookout. Some people wanted to cool off in the water. I can't wait to jump in the water and just kind of feel refreshed after being in the heat all day. But that never happened. Can't go in the water because there's a sign. This big red sign telling people it's not safe to swim because of high levels of cyanobacteria. Vermont State Parks test the water once a week. So for now, people are finding other ways. Throw a football, frisbee, Absolutely. kick a soccer ball, who knows? You get surprised when you go on the beach. To have some fun in the sun. Again, these days are few and far between, so people gotta enjoy them while they can. And people on North Beach have been doing just that. In Burlington, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News. And you can check the health department cyanobacteria tracker map before you head out on the water. They're also asking people to report toxic algae blooms online. You can find more information on our website, mynbc5.com.